My princess, what is it? Why are you angry? Don't you like the cake? Okay. You don't like the gift your father and I bought for you, right? I dislike her. Who do you dislike? I dislike Jane. I don't like the way she dance better than me. Come on! She's here to celebrate with you. I don't want her to celebrate with me. I want you to tell her to leave. Um, okay. Will that make you happy? Okay, that's fine. I will tell her to leave. Okay, mom. Now smile for me. Smile for me. Let's go back inside. Princess. That is good. <laughs> How are you? I'm good. I'm good, good, good. How was your trip? It was awesome. And um, the ah. whole passing out exercise? And it was good. I'm just glad that everything is over now. I'm done with NYSC. <laughs> so I hope you are ready to start work in my company. No, Daddy. I need like three weeks or a month break. Please. And I don't want to work in your company. I want to work in an advertising agency. Is that what you want? All right. I'll make some calls and it will be done. Thank you. <laughs> You're the best. Great. Baby. <laughs> Mom. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you, Mommy. So how did it go? Uh, it went well. I'm done with everything. Wow. Yes. <laughs> um, guess what? What? I made your favorite. <laughs> no, thank you, so, Mommy. Mom, I'm freshen up, okay? Uh, come, come, come. Okay, okay. Fine, fine, fine. So, fine. um. Bye. I come with you then. Okay. Let me quickly freshen up. Um, mommy! Oh my god! <laughs> no well. I missed you. I missed you too. You look good. How have you been? Thank you. Well, I've been managing. And you too. Beautiful as ever. <laughs> so I have a graduate. Yes, you do. Compassion! Mm. <laughs> but you see, I, I have, have so many it. stories to tell you. Please, please, Come, please. let's go inside. I hope there is food yes. because yes, of what course, they were giving Oh my god, mommy. Oh, food you have to show that.
This is your office, Miss Princess. Thank you. I will be in my office if you need me for anything. Excuse me. Mm -hmm. Oh my God, look who we have here. Oh my God, you're so beautiful. Welcome to One and Two Advertising. My name is Annabelle and I work with the media relations. What's your name? Are they call your princess? Wow, oh my God, I love your wrist watch. This is so beautiful, I like it. It's the latest Apple wrist watch. Latest Apple watch? My goodness, do you know the last time I tried to check online, it was way above my budget. I've always wanted to own an Apple wristwatch. Mm -hmm. um, what can I do for you? Yes, I want you to know that I'm at your service anytime. You want anything in this office, you can count on me. Like any latest gist going on here, I know about it. All the apropos, even the hottest guys. Look at you. I your hair is so beautiful. Your name is what again? Annabelle. Look at your neck. What? what? Gosh, you're so lush and beautiful. I can't wait to keep seeing you here. Yeah. Impressive. Onye Okoli. Did I get it right? Yes, sir. You graduated with first class. Yes, sir, I did. And not just that, I was the best graduating student in my department. Wow. Very impressive. By God's grace. Sir, that's why I'm hoping you give me a position in this company so that I can contribute my only two quarter to its growth. Do you know I can give you a chance to work in this company? I would really appreciate it, sir. I would really appreciate that. I will give you. I will give you the chance to work in this company. God bless you. Thank you so much. But... But, but what, sir? Whether you get this job or not depends on you. If you pass this last and important test, the job is yours. Another test? Like, is it another aptitude test? No, 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 not really. It's different. Okay, I, I would like you to help me change my oil. Change? Or you, uh, uh, like, is it an engine oil or what? Why do you pretend as if you don't understand what I'm saying? You're acting like a child. It's beginning to upset me. Okay, since you want me to spill it, I want to have kind of knowledge of you. What? Yes. You want me to sleep with you? before you give me a position in this company. Mother, why are you sounding as if you're a child or you don't understand the, the situation of things in this country? You use what you have to get what you want, baby. I cannot sleep with you or anyone else for a job. Apparently, you'll be jobless for a very, 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 very long time. Thank you very much, sir. Mm? I really appreciate it. But you are not God. The fact that I do not get a job here does not mean I will not get it elsewhere. Is that what you're shouting? Stop shouting. Get back from my office. Simply make it just common body. You know, feel just common body. Nonsense, girl. I know you wow the CEO with your brilliant idea like you always do. <laughs> <laughs> With the way you're going, <laughs> the CEO is going to make you the head of the department. You know you're the best brain in the company, right? Please take it easy, my princess. Take it easy. For once, you're saying something reasonable. 
Oh uh, yes, <laughs> thank you. I take it as a compliment. <laughs> thank you so much. Oh yeah, go in please. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Why are you doing this to yourself? Why are you thinking so much about this, this, this matter? Who would be in my position and not think? Thinking never solves a problem. Yes, people think when they have problems, but unless you're thinking about a solution, most times it makes it worse. What could be worse than my current predicament? Mm. Mm, mommy, does it make any sense? They said all you need to do is go to school, get good grades, and you get a good job. Well, I have gone to school and I graduated with a first class and I cannot even secure a job after everything. All my friends were having fun, going to parties. I could not even do any of that because I was devoting myself to my studies. And after everything, I cannot even make my own mother proud. Uh -uh. Listen to me. Look at me. Look at me. I am proud of you, Nye Chuku. I am proud of the incredible woman you have become. I am proud that I was able to take care of you without any help from any quarters. No husband, no father, no mother. I took care of you all alone for my petty business. And I am proud of who you are today. That's the hard part. This is the part where I'm supposed to put a permanent smile on your face. And I cannot even get a damn job to do that. Shh. I want you to relax. Relax. Yes, all those companies have been turning you down, but... It might just be that those jobs are paving the way for something bigger and better for you. Remember the story of the patient dog? Really? Well, last I checked, that dog died of starvation. <laughs> We're a clown. <laughs> okay. I know. You feel so bad, you feel everyone has moved ahead of you. All your friends, people you went to university with, all the people you served with. That's the point, mommy. That's the part that does not make any sense. Even the people that copied from me, they all have perfect jobs. And the ones you taught to. I'm telling you, mommy. Shh. And look at me, the teacher at home with her first class. Yes. And I want you to do something for me. Look at me. Do not ever use people's progress in life as yastic to judge your own progress. Do you understand? I'm just tired. You are unique in your own self. And you're special. And we all are different. Just stay up.
Princess. Uncle Obi. How are you? <laughs> I'm not fine, Uncle. Is anything the matter? You haven't come to see me since I resumed work. Oh, my apologies. I have been meaning to come, but I've been busy with work. How's your father? He's good. He's been asking of you. My little girl has become a lady. <laughs> of course. <laughs> You like your office? I love it. Please have a seat. Thank you. I feel like a boss. If you don't like it, feel free to tell me. I'll get a better one. Oh, no, Uncle, it's perfect. Okay? Good. Happy to hear that. Yes. I want to commend you for your beautiful innovations. Your ideas are always top notch. As always. <laughs> As a matter of fact, I want to make you the head of the team that will handle the Greener Nigeria project. This is a big one. Yes, it's a big one. A very massive project. Yes. And that's why I want to put you in charge. Your idea got the contract and nobody else can actualize it better than you. Of course. Well, that's why I got the job. Don't worry, Uncle. I promise to surpass your expectations of me. I trust you will. You're a genius. Mm -hmm, I am. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. So how's it going? It's going well. It's going very well. And how have you been coping with your colleagues? Mm, it's not like I have a choice, but it's fine. They're all they're good. Okay, that's good. I will get you lunch. Uh, yes, Uncle. You should. You owe me one. I know. And tell your father I will see him soon. Okay? My will. Good. Do have a nice day. Take care of yourself. Okay. Uncle, come more. Come more time. I will. I'm bearing gifts too. <laughs> Okay. okay. Have a nice day. Okay, I'm off. I'll see you in the evening. Did you hear what I said? Oh, you need to What are you looking at? Um, it's this. Well, there's this company that I sent my CV to, and they just sent me a mail inviting me to come for an interview on Monday. That's what you're looking at. You didn't hear what I said. Yeah. But that's good news. That's good news. So you have today and the weekend to get ready. That's nice. What's wrong? You don't look excited. I, I am. I'm excited. I, I don't know. I'm having doubts. I don't think I want to go. I'm tired of getting torn down. Oh, that. What's the point? You know, that's actually the reason we should prepare very well and go for this interview. You might just make it. And I have a feeling this will turn out very well. Okay. Okay? Now, cheer up. We can actually play, pray over it. Okay? Hmm? Okay. All right. So cheer up. Hmm? Thank you. I'll see you. Bye. Bye. Oh. Hi, princess. <laughs> Have you seen him? Seen who? The new guy. The new guy that was transferred to our office. What about him? Oh my god, you need to see him. He's so cute. And please just relax, okay? I mean, to you, even a goat is cute. Oh no, princess, why would you say that is? But I mean it. He's so cute. Very handsome. Okay, fine. Ah. <laughs> Hi. Hi. <laughs> you see? Can you confirm it? <laughs> Isn't he cute? We have better things to do. <sighs> oh, 
Princess. Oh. Uh, you're done for the day, right? I'm not only done for the day, I'm also done for the week. Oh, yes. I forgot today is Friday. Mm -hmm. And I can't wait to get in my TGIF mood. <laughs> oh. You sound like you love to have fun. Obviously. I mean, all work and no play makes Princess a doll girl. That's right. So, can I tag along? Sure. <laughs> no, no. Let's go with my car. What about my car? Oh, you can always come back for that later. It's be fun. Here, yeah, yeah, you're driving. You're driving, please. I can't come and drive you in my car. No. Please. <laughs> I told you I got this. Look at That's a lot. Uh, this? Huh? Not at all. Mm. Oh, really? It's taking forever. Okay. Mm. <laughs> uh, no, I, I'm, I'm done. that as calm as you look, you'll be a walking beauty. Is that an insult or a compliment? Uh, no insults intended. I'm just shocked that you can drink this much. <laughs> well, I started drinking since I was 11. I used to take a seat for my dad's class. Oh. <laughs> so um, that means um, you were over pampered as a child. You've done it again! <laughs> Just like I said, no insults intended. Oh, okay. none taken. Okay. okay, so tell me, how does it feel like being an only child? Oh, that's great. Awesome. Beautiful. You know, I don't get to share anything. My parents' attention, their money, their gifts, everything belongs to me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Um, can I get, try to switch things up a little bit, can I get, um... Wait, are you still drinking? Did I tell you I was done? Of course I'm still drinking! <laughs> yeah, vodka please. Yes, um, two glasses please. No, 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 I'm, I'm done. You... Yeah, oh. just a glass of water. More for me then, yes. Hand this over to me. Oh, who drinks water on a Friday? That's boring. Very boring. But don't worry, I'm going to drink for both of us. Mm. He's good, just get him his boring water. you not in the bedroom? Oh. Why are you here? Come, come, let's go and sleep. Honey, how do you expect me to sleep? Look at the time. 
and Princess is not yet back. You're worrying yourself over Princess on the weekend? Don't you remember how she do on weekends? She, she's gone drinking in town and she'll be back. Why won't I worry? No, tell me, why won't I worry? The country is no longer safe. Besides, she's a woman. She shouldn't be drinking this much. Hey, Mom. Hey, Dad. Uh, princess. Mom. Mom, please don't You start. can't continue like don't this. Don't start, okay? I drove myself here. I'm good. <sighs> she drove herself home. No accidents. No mishaps. I told you you were worrying for nothing. She knows how to hold. I know you always support her, I know. What can I do? That's not nice. Come, let me go. Massage away your worries, my darling. Okay, mommy. I'm ready. Are you ready? Yes, I am. For? The interview. How do I look? Oh, good, good. I almost forgot. What are you doing? Oh God. What are you doing? I want to give you a transport fare. Really? What do you mean, really? <laughs> Mom, please, I have my transport fare. Are you rejecting my money? No, I'm not, but I'm not a child. I have my transport fare. Okay. Oh, wish me luck. I wish you. Come, go, 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 go. What? God will favor you. Amen. God's favor will follow you. Amen. And this interview will surrender into the hands of God. Amen. You will come back. Amen. 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 Mommy, I'm late. Amen. Thank Bye -bye. you. Love you. Bye. Bye. You mean you graduated with first class in mass communication from the University of Benin? Yes, ma, I did. Oh, well, that's nice. I'm an alumni too. I graduated 10 years ago. Really? Wow. Well, you don't mind me asking, what department? Department of Sociology. Wow. So, how was it during your time? It was fun. It was very, very fun. So how was it, princess? How was what? Um, don't act like you don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> um, I saw you and Smith leaving the office last Friday. So? So just me, where did you guys go to? Where did you take you yes, to? Yes, hand down is just one outing. Just me now. Did you sleep at this place? Excuse you. What do you take me for? Some cheap slot? Well, I'm not like you, okay? Why would you say that, princess? That's not fair now. Who is it? Hi, Hi Smith. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Welcome. So how was your weekend? I hope you enjoyed yourself. Yes, I did. But I am not doing that with you again anytime soon. Ah, uh, that's not fair. Uh, I brought this um, for you to work on. Okay. Have a nice day. Yes. Hi. So, <laughs> are you ready to tell me where you both went to? This is not fair now. Just me, John. I can see you. We have a lot of free time. Um. <laughs> that man, you can never change. <laughs> oh, you mean Mr. Bain? <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> see what he did there? Are you still going to do that? <laughs> so are you still like that? He's still like that. No. Still like that. I don't like that man for anything. <laughs> but no. <it> Honestly. <laughs> Honey, yes, do you know you just made me remember those good old days <laughs> when we met we are girls, uh -huh. you know? <laughs> oh my gosh. 
I don't even know whether to call this thing an interview or a chatting session. It's put. <laughs> oh my God. Put. Yeah, it is. <laughs> you know, it's not easy to graduate in Unibain. You know, some people, when they jump in, they will just jump out. In fact, Mr. Ben will even frustrate you to the extent you have you you have to read. My friend, you must force yourself I'm to read. You. Ma, it was that man, eh? But we thank God. I don't like him for anything, anyways. <laughs> I know how hard it is, you know, to come out with second class upper, not to mention first class. That means you are exceptionally brilliant. Ah. Well, by the grace of God. I know yeah. you are. <laughs> Miss Oni. Mm. Oni Okolie, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> um. <laughs> Congratulations. Really? You have the job. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, ma. Thank you. Thank you. Thank You're you welcome. so much. <sighs> okay, ma, when when can I when can I start? Okay, I am going to prepare your employment letter just now, you know, and send it to your email so that you can start tomorrow. Okay, thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you. I really appreciate this. You're welcome. You. I'm happy to see you anyway. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> okay, okay, mommy. Okay, you need to help me pick which one? This? Mm, this? I think this one. This one? Yes. Are you sure? Everything will be perfect. It looks nice. This? Yes. Okay, great. Why don't you slow down? No, 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 no. It's my first day, Mom. Everything has to be perfect. Hey. Thank God. Finally, this is your office. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you, Ma. You will meet with your colleagues later. Okay, ma. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. I'll see you. Bye. Princess. Oh, hi, Mrs. Rosemary. How is the world going? It's going well. Yours? Oh, well, thank God. I want to introduce to you Miss Oni. She's a new staff in your department. Both of you will be working closely. Hello, Miss Princess. Nice to meet you. I'll be looking forward to working with you. Well, I'll be looking forward to you working for me. Let's go so that we introduce to you other of your colleagues. Okay, ma. Thank you. <laughs> Uh. <sighs> really cry the truth. Hello, beautiful princess. Who was that? No one important, just a new staff. Oh, new staff. I hope she's intelligent enough to walk at your pace. <laughs> <coughs> Of course she's not. I mean, she's... I'm way too intelligent for my myopic mind. Oh, yes, that's true. I trust you. <sighs> what are you doing here? Hi. Hi. You're the new girl, right? Yes, sir. The name is Smith. Okay, sir. Smith. Yeah. So what's the name? Onye Chuku. Okay, Onye Chuku. You are an advertiser, right? Yes. I am in the management department. I'll see you around, right? Yeah. Nice to meet you. Same here. Sorry, well, I'm going with 
with Smith. Smith? Well, that's no problem. I can always tag along. After all, you're my friend. Mm-hmm. Friend indeed. You're only here because you know I'll pay. Well, that's fine. Just go and call Smith. Let's go. Smith, I've not told you. <laughs> I saw Smith and that new girl. Smith actually went to the new girl's office. If you see how Smith was eating and uh, playing and laughing with this girl. <laughs> In fact, I think they love each other. They love with each other. What? What did you just say? No, that's what I saw. They could even be together right now. That classless and cheap girl. <gasps> yes. The one with zero fashion sense? <laughs> Have you seen her hair? <laughs> she dresses like a masquerade. Oh, yeah, masquerade. That's what she dresses like. Yes. <laughs> mm, so embarrassed on his behalf. He too. Mm, no. Cheap guy, cheap girl. They suit each other. Yeah. Let's go. Let's go and eat something. Well, that's his business. To you are today. Okay, I'll help you so we can go. No, no, I don't need this. Just um, my phone and my bag. Oh, let me help you. <laughs> don't worry. Let's go. Yes. <laughs> hey. I mean, oh, it's my pleasure. <laughs> oh, let me open the door. Um, by the way, are we going to at your favorite restaurant? <sighs> Hi. Hi. How's it going? Well, <laughs> still new to me, but I'm learning fast. Okay, good. Um, it's lunch time. Aren't you going out for lunch? Um, no, <laughs> I still have a lot of work to do. Don't worry about me. When I'm hungry, I'll just go across the road and get snacks for myself. Snacks? <laughs> Come on, we both know. Snacks will do you no good. <laughs> True. But that is what I can afford at the moment. You know I have not collected salary yet. Okay, um, do you mind if I buy you lunch? No. I'll be fine, thank you. Mm -mm. I insist. Lunch on me. Let's go. Don't worry. No, let us go. Let's go. Come. Okay. If you say so. Come. Okay. Well, still need to tidy some things. Don't worry, it's fine. Let's go and have lunch. Okay. If you insist. Thank you so much for lunch. I really enjoyed it. Thank you. It's fine. It's the least I can do for a friend. Friend? So we are friends already? <laughs> Come on. You don't need to know someone for more than 10 years for them to be your friend. <laughs> you are a cool girl and I enjoy your company. So I consider you a friend. I'm honored. Thank you. <laughs> Ah, Oni, you have given me enough thank you to last me for a lifetime. Well, my mom raised me to be grateful, so thank you <laughs> once more. Uh, you know, I can't wait to meet her so I can personally hand her the best mother award. Really? <laughs> well, she deserves it and more. <sighs> she has really tried for me sacrificing her whole life so that I don't like anything. I can't wait to put a permanent smile on her face. <laughs> that permanent smile, she really deserves it. Of course she does. For raising a beautiful and amazing woman like you. Come in. Um, princess. This is the next um, project you'll be working on. Drop it on the desk.
Princess, how is work today? Princess, I said, how is work? How is that any of your business? Why are you sounding like that? You've delivered your message, right? What else do you want? Princess, why are you talking to me like that? Do you have a problem with me? Smith. I need you to leave my office. Or better still, go and meet the new girl. After all, you've been hitting on her. <laughs> oh. I get it. So, all this attitude is because of her. Don't tell me you're jealous. <laughs> you must really rate yourself so high for you to think I would be jealous of that thing. I'm only irritated that you could stoop so low to be around her. Well, I'm not surprised. I mean, it shows how poor your taste in women is. Mm. But you are attracted to me. Me. I they call your princess attracted to you. Not in this world. I know the kind of guys I date and you don't measure up. Listen, if you're the only man on this earth, I'd rather take a trip to space and date an alien than to be with you. <laughs> well, good luck on your trip to space. I will not stand here and banter words with a spoiled brat like you. Get out! Fool! <gasps> what does he think? Me? A spot? Spoiled brat? Really? I don't blame him. You know what? I don't blame him at all. It's because I've, I'm so humble to, to be around someone like him. Because I see him as a friend. I've been talking to him, smiling with him. He can talk to me the way he wants, right? No problem. Do you really think the world revolves around you? No problem. Take a minute to promise me. There's a lot of brat. Oh, really welcome. You know Thank you. Really so how was your day? Mommy, work today was very hectic. Ah, I can tell. It's written all over you. <laughs> mm. Mm. So what would you want now? I want to eat before taking your bath? Um, I have. I think I'll eat a little after I take my bath. A little? Why a little? You told me you'd be eating snacks at the office. Mm. And I made enough ever for you. So, well, Smith took me out for lunch. Oh, yeah? Who's Smith? Who is Smith? A colleague of mine. A colleague? Yes. I hope he's only He's a just colleague. a colleague, mommy. He's just a I colleague. I hope he's only a he's colleague. He's just a colleague. OK. <laughs> I'm good with that. <laughs> You don't really get to know unless you really know. Come in. There's a lot of truth yet to be unfolded. You don't really get to know. Good morning, sir. Good morning, Good morning. Good How are you? I'm fine, sir. And how is work? Fine, thank you, sir. <sighs> Sit. Thank you, sir. I hope you're gradually settling in. Yes, sir. Good to hear that. Thank you. Here, as the managing director, I try as much as possible to create a very cordial relationship with my staff, especially the new ones. That enables me to understand them, know their weaknesses and their strengths. You know, the strength of every team lies in the individual strength of its members. That is true, sir. Good. Miss Rosemary told me that you are brilliant, exceptionally intelligent, and that you graduated with the first class. Yes, sir. Good. I would like you to replicate that brilliance here. Yes, sir, of course. So let's hit the roots. 
I have a task for you. Okay, okay, I'm, I'm ready for any task. Good. I'm ready. One of our clients wants us to develop an advertisement campaign for him. Okay, sir. I want you to develop a concept, okay? Whatever you're coming up with must be very exceptional. I have given Princess the same task. You know, she's one of the best brains we have here. And I want you, as a first class graduate, to show me what you are made of. Okay, sir. Good. So, I'm counting on you. Thank you, sir. I'll make you proud, sir. Thank you so much for the opportunity. Have a nice day. Thank you, sir. Have you heard? Heard what? The new girl was asked to come up with an idea that you're currently working on. That is the advertisement campaign. That means you have a competitor. <laughs> She's not my competitor. I mean, no one in this company can compete with me. I'm obviously the most creative person here. So I'm not even bothered. You mean you're not scared that she might come up with an idea better than yours? What idea can come out of an empty brain? Oh, yes, that's true. Oh, no, no, please, I, I am way too big to be bothered about <laughs> an idea an ignoramus like her will come up with, please. Oh, that's true, you know. She's a mad, stupid girl. She's not as smart as you are. Huh? I'm sorry I said that at first. Can you give me water? Yes. <sighs> Yeah. Oh, me. Hi, sweet. How are you? I'm good. How are you doing today? I'm okay. Thank you so much for the other day. There you go again with your mini things. It is nothing. So, um, what are you working on? I was told to come up with an advertisement campaign for a client. Okay, which client is that? Hugo Logistics. Is the process supposed to be doing that? I know, right? But the CEO came in and asked me to equally come up with something. That's good. You know that's the first step to promotion. Yes, I know. Which is why I am cracking my brain to try and come up with something exceptional. I might even take the laptop home to work because it's so much. I just agreed to come up with something nice. Hope so. Aren't you ready to go to bed? Mm -hmm. No, mommy, I'm not. <clears throat> I need to make sure that this turns out perfectly. Because according to Smith, this is the right step to getting a promotion. So I need to kill it. Oh? <laughs> That's nice. I wish you the best. Thank you. And may God help you. Thank you, Mommy. You don't have to wait up for me. I'm ready to retire. Okay. <clears throat> don't stay up too late. Mm -hmm. no. Good night, baby. Good night, Mommy. Does the world revolve around? 
My princess, what are you doing? Look at only the new girls busy putting in a lot of energy to come up with the best for the advertisement campaign. Are you here? Can you up? just shut your trap? Okay, I'm sorry. Go get me my drink. I'll do just that. Not that one. No, the last one. Use your brain for once, please. Oh, you feel right. Sorry. Oh. Oh, where's my glass? Or oh, do I have to say it too? No, I should... You know you're looking so beautiful today. You're really gaining weight. What do you eat? Food, obviously. Relax. You've got this. I, I feel so tense. Are you sure it's a good idea? What if they say it's nonsense? Possible. I saw what you did. You're too intelligent to come up with nonsense. Are you sure? One hundred percent. You see, I am very sure that what you have will be better than that of Princess. And I'll also be there to cheer you up. So whenever you feel down, just look at me and draw strength. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Okay, so... It's time to wow everybody. Let's go. Ah, uh, God. Let's go. Uh. Let's go. You okay, got okay, this. Okay, okay, okay. I believe you. Okay, in you. okay. I recommend a teaser campaign for this product. Instead of outrightly promoting this product, we can begin by creating adverts that will hint our consumers on this product without letting them in on the exact details. You know, this type of what is coming marketing strategy helps to naturally build a sense of anticipation for this product. And we can employ the traditional vehicle for advertising such as the prints, electronic, you know, just to build anticipation in our consumers. If we can successfully build anticipation, I bet you that our consumers will be eager to get this product when they are finally released. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Miss Princess. I must commend you for a thorough job. Okay, let's hear from you, Miss Oyinye. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Um, <clears throat> this is not a classroom. Please sit, my dear. I am, I am, I am recommending we try a strategy that is entirely different. Um, it's called a contest campaign. This strategy will not just help us get customers, but it will also help us create stakeholders as well. <clears throat> uh, it, it involves engaging the consumers in the marketing and promoting of the product. Considering the fact that our target audience are young people, and we all know how this generation is deep into social media, um, this strategy involves telling the customers to create a video and post on their social media platforms. The video with the highest engagement, highest number of likes, shares, comments, everything, wins a free supply of the product for one year. We all know how everybody loves free things. If we actually employ this strategy, we'll end up being able to reach out to a, a large number of consumers, not just in this state, not just in this country, across the globe. But if we employ the traditional method, we are going to have a very limited number of customers that we can actually reach out to. 
Thank you. Impressive. Absolutely impressive. I must commend all of you for your beautiful presentations. Thank you, Uncle. Yes. You made mention of the teaser campaign. Yes. And um, you, the contest campaign. I must say that these two beautiful concepts over the years have yielded uh, tremendous results. And if you are to adopt any of this, okay, it will equally yield results. But let's do a juxtaposition of the two concepts. The teaser campaign, also known as the pre-launch campaign, is a, a very successful marketing strategy, no doubt. It's aimed at enticing your customers by capturing their attention, okay? If you are to employ the traditional channel, vis-a-vis -vis the television, the radio, the print. the print, and all that, it's, it will definitely yield results. But we have found ourselves in an entirely new world, the social media age, where everybody now has a phone. As a matter of fact, I find it very difficult to get my daughter off the phone these days. <laughs> okay, and you see, we have a very vast clientele base that is mostly made up of youths. The customers, the consumers, everybody anticipates a free gift. They want free gifts, they want giveaways, they want to win lotteries and all that. So if you can engage them through the social media and give them exactly what they want, we will in turn smile to the banks. Okay? So looking at these two concepts, they are absolutely beautiful, but we want the best. Because the aim of every organization is to make money. And money we will make. Yes. <laughs> so, thank you once again for doing a wonderful job. You're welcome, Uncle. Thank you. But uh, I have decided to to select that of uh, Miss Oyinye. Yeah. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Princess. Princess. Rubbish. Princess. Rubbish. <laughs> Such absurdity. How could they choose her stupid idea over mine? I think just, just shut up. Shut up. Who asked you to think? What, what rubbish? Who are you thinking about? Smith, what, what, what oh. are you thinking about? I think Smith costs the CEO into accepting her ideas. That's very correct. <laughs> For once your brain is functioning, you know you're sleeping with her, right? <laughs> He's doing this to spite me, but I will show them that Princess Adekoya isn't someone to mess around with. Exactly, exactly. They can't humiliate your uncle's coffee. Get my documents. I'm so excited. I can't believe they actually chose my idea. My idea, me. Me. Oh, yes. I'm brilliant. Oh, yes. <laughs> of course, it's a brilliant idea. You know, I will choose your idea over princesses any day, any time. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. You have made my stay here very pleasurable. And you have been so supportive in more ways than I can mention. <laughs> it's nothing. You know, you're different from every other woman that I have met. Nowadays, it's hard to find a girl who's well-mannered and not as respectful as you are. You're a remarkable woman, and I cherish you for that. The CEO wants you to see him in his office. Okay, ma.
Um, so, the CEO. <laughs> I have to go. All right. See you. Thank you. Bye. All right. Project. Really? Me? That yes. Is Come, let me tell you all about it. So, when we started, I was yeah. so scared. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? Wait. You haven't checked your mirror yet? No. Go ahead and check it. Just check it first. Check it. Why? What's going on? Check Just it. Just tell me. Check it. person you expect in your office because you feel I hate you. <laughs> no, I, I don't think so. Why would I? <laughs> well, I'm just here to, you know, reconcile in case you think I hate you or something. <laughs> well, there would only be a need for reconciliation if there is a conflict. And I don't have any issues with you, unless you have an issue with me. No, why would I? Well, I was just a little threatened by your presence. That's just... Mm -hmm. <laughs> I understand. You know how it feels when a new person comes in and you feel like the person is trying to compete with you? <laughs> you, you know you can't, though. But, that, but that's by the way. <laughs> um, can we just hug it out? <laughs> come, 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 come here. Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> mm. um, congratulations on your promotion. Thank you. Uh, you're welcome. You're welcome. Um, do you mind if I take you out to grab a couple of drinks, you know, just to celebrate, have fun? Girls' night out? No, I, I don't drink alcohol, so... <laughs> <laughs> you must not take alcohol. You can just... Yeah, there yeah, are soft drinks. You can just order something. I really want us to get to know each other, you know? Look at family. Okay, fine. Drinks. Okay, so I'm picking you up after work? Yeah. Nice. <laughs> I just saw Princess leave your office. Yes. Well, she came to congratulate me and she said she wants to take me out for drinks. Take you out for drinks? Do, do you even know how much that girl drinks? She does not do few drinks. She's a walking brewery. <laughs> Relax. Calm down. Besides, I'm not going to take alcohol. Probably just have soft drinks or something. Don't worry, I'll be fine. But did you have to go? Eh? There's something about her sudden change in character that does not sit well with me. Uh, okay, Smith, calm down. All right, 
I understand that we are not best of friends, yes, but that does not mean that we are enemies. Besides, I think she's just trying to build a rapport with me, considering the fact that um, I'm the boss. So, relax. It's all right, just be careful, okay? I'll be careful. It's okay. All right, let me go back to where I was doing, okay? All right. I'll see you later. Okay. <laughs> yeah, honestly, work can be very stressful. Oh, uh, thank you. <laughs> Another one. <laughs> what? Mm, I... Okay. Mm, mm, mm. It's Another. okay. It's okay. Thank you very much. It's what? Don't you think you've had enough? Enough? <laughs> I've not even started. <laughs> Your kidney. I've been drinking for 14 years. I'm good. My kidney is fine. Okay? You don't have to worry about myself. My organs are in good condition. So, um, can you please fill up? Sure. Yeah. But at least like space in between. I just did. I just took like some seconds. <laughs> Thank you. Mm. Another glass, please. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, if you're scared of me, like, dropping you home, perfectly fine. I'm not drunk, okay? Well, I think we should actually get going. It's quite late. Late? The party hasn't even started. Party? Yes. Oh, please, you can't go now. I got you, okay? I got you. <laughs> Well, friends, right? Mm. Mm -hmm. Friends. Yes, friends. Yeah. <laughs> Please don't add more. <laughs> don't worry, I'm fine. I'm really fine. Mm. You, you know what? Just drop this. Give me, give me, give me this. <laughs> you know what? All right, I got me. Aha, uh -huh, cheers. It's a friendship. <laughs> last night? Yes, I went out with a colleague last night. Mm. Oh, okay. You are tired, you seem tired, that's why I didn't wake up for prayers. Yes, and I still feel very tired. So what would you do now? Would you sleep some more? No, I have to get ready for work. <laughs> what are you trying to cook? Oh. How could you? What? How could you? I'm so disappointed in you. I held you in high esteem because I thought you were different. What are you talking you about? You made a sex thing! I mm. made it. Don't even deny it because it's everywhere on the internet. What, 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 are, you, what are you saying? I made this. How? Do I look like someone that will make a sex thing? You disgust me. I never want to see you anywhere around me. Sweet, I did not do anything. What are you talking about? Miss Onye, this company has a huge reputation to protect. And because of that, it does not condone any form of sexual scandal. I did not do this. Ma, I did not do this. Excuse me. 
did not do this. I did not do you this. You don't I... talk when I'm talking. I'm sorry. We'll have to let you go. No, wait, ma. No, 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 no. I did not do this. I did not do it. I did not do it. I did not do it. No, it was you. It was you. You did this to me. This was the day we went out. What did I ever do to you? I did it. I didn't do anything. Enjoy being unemployed. Why did you do this to me? What did I ever do to you? Why did you do this to me? I have a sex tape. 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 Ah, you're back early. What's going on? I swear. I swear on my life I did not do it. Do what? I did not do it. What? What is it? What is it? What's going on? I swear I did not do it. What is it? I did not do it. I did not do it. Oh, yeah. What is this? Oh, I did not do it. I did not do it. I swear. I swear. I swear. I can never do such a thing. I can never do such a thing, mommy. Please. Please don't have a me like everyone else. I did not do it. I did not oh, swear. Child. I did not do this to my child. I did not do it. Shh. It's Congratulations on your promotion, princess. Thank you. No one can come from nowhere and take my position. Exactly no one. You know what? Thank God you quickly eliminated that girl, Onye. By now, she would have been ordering you around. Hell no. I can't even imagine myself answering to her. <laughs> exactly. Oh, princess. Don't you think I deserve a gift now that you've been promoted? After all, I've been a lawyer friend to you. Eh? You actually do deserve a gift. You've been very loyal. Oh, thank you. Not to worry. I'll take you to the club and get you the most expensive drink. Oh, no, I don't want an expensive drink. I want that your Apple wristwatch. No, it's way too expensive for you, and I don't think you're worth it. Do you even have an iPhone that would match up with it? Princess, you've come again with all this, your insults. Of course I do have an iPhone. No, no, please, no. Mm, it's fine, you can have it. It's just an Apple Watch. Oh my God, man. Princess, oh my God. <laughs> Thank you so much. What are you trying to do? I want to give you a hug. Oh, sorry. Do you want your cheap perfume to rub off on me? I'm sorry. <laughs> but we can do a handshake. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh. <sighs> Sit down. It's just an Apple wristwatch. It's not like a Rolex. Mm -hmm. What will you do if I give you a Rolex? Uh, Scream them and view them down. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Princess, you know you are my princess, and you're the most beautiful. You know, in the soft face, you are the best. Ah, you're so smart. Stay pure. Stay pure. Oh, yeah. Keep calm. Because the world is about, about all of us. Calm down. Stay pure. Oh, yeah. Keep calm. Today might be sure. But the future is uncertain. Stay pure. Stay pure. Ooh, yeah. Keep calm. Cause the world is about, about me and you. Calm down. Does the world revolve around you? Do you really think the world revolves around you? 
Take a minute, and there's a lot of mysteries happening here and dear. You don't really get to know unless you really know. There's a lot of truth yet to be unfolded. You don't really get to know unless you really know. Stay put, keep calm. Today might be sure, but the future is uncertain. Stay pure. Stay pure. Oh yeah. Keep calm. Cause the world is about, about all of us. Calm down. Stay pure. I really don't know what's wrong with me. I've been feeling very uh, dizzy and tired for some days now. Have you gone to see the doctor? Uh, if it persists, I'll just go to the hospital for checkup. Ah, princess, don't you think it's better you stay back? Let me go get the food. No, no, just I... give me the money. Oh, Jesus! Ah, take me out of here! Ah, princess! Ah! Oh, oh, we go! Oh. Yes, 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 yes. Oh. Princess! Princess! Yes, you're pained. But this isn't the end of the world. This is the end of my world. After everything, I finally get the perfect job. And everything is just gone like that. Which company is going to employ someone that has a sex tip scandal? I just want my life to be over. Mm. Mm. No challenge is enough for you to, to think of killing yourself. It's hopeless. What's the point? My life is over. So long as there's life, there is hope. Okay? There's no hope for me. I'm useless. I'm worthless. Stop it. Stop it! I didn't... I didn't struggle all these years to raise a useless daughter. You are useful to me. It's okay. Stop crying. It's okay. Oh, come, come, come. My princess. So, what happened to my daughter? We don't know yet, sir. We are still waiting for the doctor to get back to us. Oh, God, please. Nothing should happen to my princess. My only hope. God. Oh. All right, are these her parents? Yes. Yes. Yes, we're her parents. All right, let's go to my office. We need to discuss. Huh? Uh, let's go. We need to discuss. Um, doctor. Yes, madam. Please, what is wrong with my daughter? All right, we carried out a um, series of tests on her and we dictated that her kidneys are failing. Ah! 
Mon gars, qui l'a eu ça? Ah, mais what did you say? Her kidneys are failed. Thanks, ma'am. Daddy princess, I'm finished. It's okay. It's okay. Ah! It's okay. My only hope. Eh? Huh? It's, it's okay. Tell me it's not true. Please tell me it is not true. Tell me it is not true. Ah! Daddy, please. Doctor, please, what is the way forward now? Okay, the way forward is to carry out the kidney transplant on her. Kidney transplant? Yes, sir. Okay. Take one of mine, please. I have to. I don't need them. Even, even mine. Even yes. mine. You can take it. It's okay. But before we do that, we need to run some text to find out if the kidneys matches with us. All right. All right. Let's go. We can go and run the test. Listen. Yes. Doctor, listen. Whatever it's going to cost. Yes. Money. Whatever. Uh, even if I have to take you, my daughter, all of us abroad for this, it's not a problem. Money is not a problem. Let's go abroad and do, do everything. No, no, no. You don't have to do that. We have all the equipment to carry out such operations here. All right, so, so thank you. Please, can we go and do the test now, please? All right. Thank you. Mommy, you're going to the shop already? Yes, I am. And someone is feeling better already. How long will I continue to wallow in self-pity? I've cried for days and nights and... Oh. You know, the truth is, tears do not solve any problem. But action, action does. Hmm? That's true. Which is why I have decided to apply for jobs. I can't assume they will all turn me down, right? I have to try. Of course. I have to try. And like you said, I should not let anything discourage me in life. Let me apply your advice, Mom. <laughs> That's the spirit. And I'm happy you're feeling much, much better. Thank you, Mommy. <laughs> okay, you take care. Bye. Bye. What will you eat when you come back? Why don't you surprise me? Mommy, what do you want? You know my favorite, don't you? Mommy, I don't have strength to pound here. Well, whatever you make is okay. All right. All right. Have a great day. You too. The doctor said my kidneys are failing. My dear. The, we're already looking for a donor. Hmm? And the doctor is looking for a donor. And then... Um, once he gets one that matches, soon you'll be on your feet in no time. <sighs> That's correct. I wrote this for myself. <laughs> Fault. It's my fault. <laughs> I wish I had listened to you when you told me to stop drinking. <laughs> I wouldn't have been here. I didn't know I was destroying my organs. I didn't know. <laughs> my princess, if there's anyone to blame here, that should be me. I introduce you to alcohol at a very tender age. No responsible father should do that. I'm sorry. Um, please, this is not the time to apportion blames. I just pray we come out victorious at the end of it all. By God's grace, we will. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Princess, how are you doing today? I'm just hanging on. You'd be fine, okay? God is going to restore your health. Amen. I didn't know you. I didn't know you were so a prayer warrior. I 
I just came to check up on you. Oh. Uh, Smith, I need to tell you something. Um, if, if it's about the quarrel we had the other day, I want to tell you that I have forgotten about it and I have long forgiven you. You know, after what happened to you, I have realized that life is too short to hold a grudge. I... I framed Unini. I drugged her. I made that video. Who paid the blogger to post it? You did what? I'm sorry. I was jealous. <laughs> I was jealous that she was getting all the accolades and promotions. So I had to take her out. She's innocent. Sorry. <laughs> Princess, why would you do such a thing to your colleague? I was jealous, Dad. I felt threatened. I mean to. I'm sorry. Listen, as soon as you recover, you must look for that colleague of yours and apologize. I will, Mom. I will. I really wish I could apologize to her now. I don't even know if I was so fine. It's okay. It's okay. Look, don't, don't talk like that. There will be a time for all this. It's okay. Please. Why are you here? How do you even know where I live? We still have a copy of your CV, remember? So? Why are you here? I thought you said you never wanted to see me anymore. Or oh, are you here to, to rain more insults on me? Princess told me the truth. I am here to apologize to you. You hurt me. You did not even give me a chance to explain myself. I am deeply sorry. I am sorry for all that I said to you. I joined the whole world to condemn and castigate you. When I was supposed to support and stand by you. Please, I am very sorry. Forgive me. You know, I never expected you to act the way you did. It was okay if the whole world wanted to condemn me. But for you to be their leader, Smith. I thought we shared something special. But I guess I was wrong. No. You're not wrong at all. And yes, we share something special. No, we don't. Because if we did, you'd have at least listened to me. Mm -hmm. I, I am deeply sorry. I, I know there is nothing I can say or do now to justify my action. But I want you to know that I am very sorry and I love you. So, uh, doctor. Yes, sir. Are the test results ready? Yes. 
There is. Ah, great. That's good. Please, let's go for the transplant. Yes. No, ma, I'm sorry. Calm down, okay? Just calm down. What do you mean by calm down? What are we coming down for? Let's go, no need of wasting time. You said the results are ready. Huh? And we are ready for the transplant. Yes. Please, let's go. I'm sorry, sir. Neither of you are a match. How? What, what, what is he talking about? Um, I do. Uh, doctor, I understand. I know you're trying to uh, maybe help us, but it's not necessary. I am not old. I'm still very much healthy. I've lived my life, and I can comfortably give one of my kidneys to my daughter. Please, mm. she's my only hope. Let's go, no need of wasting time. I don't know, but we carried out this text for three times, yet the result still showed negative. I don't know. What do you mean? Does, does it not mean that we are useless? We cannot help our daughter? No, 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 sir. You are not useless. You are not useless. No. Okay. Enjoy my opinion. Uh, I have a suggestion. Maybe... I don't know. Can you just give me an injection that will work on my kidney? <laughs> so it will match my daughter's... Exactly. Exactly. Well, um, it doesn't work that way, man. It doesn't work. So, so, I mean, so, 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 so we can help our daughter? <sighs> Sir, you can. But in this case, you cannot donate to her. Okay. Don't worry, we have um, placed her name on an emergency list for a donor. And once we get it, we'll carry out the operations. All right, all right. Uh, this emergency list you placed her. Do you need money, you know, to move it up and get donors, you know, money? Anything money can do, please. No, sir, no, sir, no, sir. Uh, we don't work like that here. Yeah. Okay, just calm down. Like I said, as soon as we get a donor, we'll carry out the operations. Ah, this was. Ah, imagine eh? Uh, let him not relax. For long. Don't worry, your daughter will be fine. Okay, your daughter will be fine. Ah, Just calm down. It's okay, man. Okay. Yeah, She's my only hope. Honey? Daddy, I've been thinking. I am of the opinion that we we tell her everything. Honey, we don't need to tell her anything. We don't. On the contrary, I think we should. Keeping something like this from her would cause her more harm than good. Besides, the hospital may reveal that to her sooner than later. So I advise we tell her now why we still have time. My dear, your, your mom and I, we have something to tell you. What is it, Dad? Um, listen carefully. Having you in our lives and also enjoying the privilege of bringing you up as our daughter, there are two things that we will always be grateful to God for. What do you mean by um, enjoying the privilege of bringing me up? Um, princess, we are not your biological parents. Yes, we adopted you when you were a baby. After we got married, 
I, I found out I couldn't conceive. And friends and families were not helping matters. So we decided to adopt. That fateful day, I set my eyes on you. I knew you. I knew you belonged to us. There was this connection that... Well, my dear. Well, we're so sorry we kept this away from you for all these years. We were afraid that we are going to lose you. Yes. But I want you to know that we love you as dearly as any parent would love a child. We really love you, my dear. Yes. Thank you. Thank you for adopting me. Thank you for raising me. Thank you for showering me with love and taking care of me as your own. We might not be related by blood. But you will always be my parents. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. You're still my princess and will always be. in contact with my biological parents. The <laughs> work is fine, but it would have been better with you. <laughs> um, I'll soon be leaving, but don't worry. I'll get you some. Okay? Oh. Let's go. Welcome, Mom. How are you? Fine, Mom. <laughs> How was yours today? It was okay. Well, we thank God for everything. We don't get as much as we used to, but still, we're able to manage. Thank God. God will bring you more customers. Yeah, we're hopeful. <laughs> um, I'm leaving now. Already? Yes. Yes, I was about leaving before you got back. Okay. All right, bye. All right. <laughs> How's your day? Oh, that's a fine young man. <laughs> yes. Um, he says he wants to invest in any business idea that I come up with. Really? That's so nice. At least it will give you something to work with. How are you? Fine. I'm here to see Mrs. Sokolie. Okay. Come in. You're welcome. Thank you. You can sit. Mommy. It's okay. Mommy. Yes? Someone is here to see you. Really? Yes. Is it a visitor or a guest or we? Twin sister. Yes. 
You're a twin. I lost your father the day I gave birth to both of you. His family and my family are part of me. Because I got pregnant out of wedlock. It was so hard for me. I had to beg the hospital staff to let me go. I couldn't pay the hospital fees. I had no job. I had no source of income. I couldn't even take care of myself. Mrs. Atekoye came to me once she overheard me begging the hospital staff to let me go. She told me about her inability to conceive and have a child and begged me to give one of you up for adoption at the agency. You chose your sister. They gave me money. And with that money, I started a business that I used to take care of you all these years. I didn't tell you. Because I didn't want to open old wounds. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. It's okay. I understand. I understand how difficult it must have been for you. It's okay. It's okay. I'm not mad at you. You should. Yes, I'm not mad at you. I understand you. I, judging from the way she looks, I know you gave her the opportunity to have the kind of life you could not give her. So. It's fine. Okay. Okay. It's okay. Did you see my daughter wants to see me? Yes. That's why I'm here. Okay then. I mean, what are we waiting for? Let's just go. Let's go. I can't wait to meet my sister. Let's go. Mommy, I'm fine. Are you sure? Yes. See, I'm fine. I'm okay. My love. Um, guess who is here to see you? To know each other. She, she's the girl I told you I framed. I did nothing wrong to you. You hated me for no reason. You destroyed my life. You bruised my soul, princess. I am sorry. <sighs> I know I hurt you greatly. I know that nothing I say or do can right my wrong. But I need you to forgive me. Lying on the sick bed has forced me to reflect on my life. And I'm trying to make amends. Well, I forgave you a long time ago. After crying my eyes out for days. I realized the only way I can move forward is by letting go of the past. 
I hold no grudge against you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Mom? Mom? Who is she? Why is she crying? She's a mother. Yes, Chris. You're a twin. And Onye is your twin sister. She's your mother. my First off, I want to say thank you to God Almighty for his successful kidney transplant. <sighs> to my parents, thank you. Thank you for your constant love and support. God bless you. Bless you too. Bless you. My sister, Thank you for sharing a part of yourself with me. Without you, I wouldn't be here. God bless you. Thank you. I'm also very grateful to God for bringing my biological mother into my life. Going through this experience has really taught me to be a better person. And I pray that with you all by my side, I will keep striving for greatness. Thank you for celebrating with me. You're welcome. <laughs> it's indeed an emotional moment, I must confess. We give God thanks for bringing us together to celebrate. We thank him for the recognition and the reconciliation <laughs> and for preserving the life of our sister who went through a critical surgery and emerged unscathed. We give God thanks. I have a propose a toast. <laughs> to long life, to good health, and to success. Cheers. <laughs> Do you really think the world revolves around you? Take a minute and see. There's a lot of mysteries happening here and here. You don't really get to know unless you really know. There's a lot of truth yet to be unfolded. You don't really get to know unless you really know.
Does the world revolve around you? Do you really think the world revolves around you? Take a minute and see. There's a lot of mysteries happening here and here. You don't really get to know unless you really know. There's a lot of truth yet to be unfolded. You don't really get to know. Unless you really know Stay.